Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today we're going to talk about the Big IP uh, TMOS software lifecycle. And I had a couple questions. I don't know if it was in the forums or, or on a Slack channel somewhere. But somebody was asking about, hey, and we noticed that there's a fourth point on the, uh, on the releases. What's that about? So I thought we'd cover that today. And so it, it basically breaks down to you have your major your minor, your maintenance, and then your point releases. And so at the, at the major level here, actually let me come all the way down to talk about major. Uh, at this point, this is significant changes to what was in the previous version whether it's behaviors, like default behaviors, or um, uh, architecture. So some architecture might change significantly. Uh, also, uh, new functionality, so you've got that. And then you've got new features. And then, of course, you also have um, performance increases. So that's at the major level. And at the major level, the, the standard uh, support window here is 15 months. And then you have a minor release. Let's come out here. For the minor releases, it has also new functionality. and also performance increases. But not to the point of a major releases. Uh, you'd also have new hardware support here. And bug fixes from uh, either earlier um, releases completely or uh, the major release that the the miner is, is built on. Okay, then you have maintenance. Let's come down and do maintenance. And at a maintenance release, once you hit, uh, you know, you have, say we, we're starting on 12.0. So 12.0 had a 15 month life cycle of support, uh, software uh, support. And then the miner, which would be 12.1, this is at five years of support. Uh, so, you know, most, most people choose not to uh, upgrade to a, like a 12.0. They'll wait for the 12.1, much longer uh, uh, life cycle of support there. Once this uh, goes from like 12.1 to 12.1.1, that is the maintenance release. So this contains all previous point releases. and also um, addresses uh, bug and security fixes. Might also have some uh, diagnostic changes um, or, or changes in diagnostic tools. So there might be um, also supportability improvements. Improvements. And then um, the important thing of what a maintenance release does not have, it um, uh, does not have new functionality. Or um, it, it doesn't, uh, no change um, in default behaviors. So once you hit like a 12.1.1, then anything starting 12.1.1, no matter what the point release changes, the default behaviors are, are not going to change. All right. And finally, let's do the point release. 
And this is a full release. And it addresses primarily um, bugs and security patches. But they're, uh, uh, you know, they're expected on the maintenance release. They might happen on a major release uh, within the standard support phase, uh, probably less frequently than on a maintenance release, but they do happen. And so, Point release, full release. So one of the questions that we got is, okay, what, what, what happens with hot fixes then? And so the key thing about hot fixes, and let me do, let me, let me change colors here. So let's, let's talk about hot fixes. All right, in a hot fix, they're gonna only be released on the latest, and this is key, latest um, major or um, uh, maintenance release uh, of, long, of the uh, long-term uh, stability, which would be a x.1. latest, uh, not yet at the end, end of software development. So you'll see this, um, you know, this end of software development in some of the solutions on Ask F5, and, and that's what we're talking about here. So hot fixes are only going to be issued on those. If there are end of software delete, uh, delivery uh, development and you're on that release, you'll need to upgrade to get a hot fix. Um, so the other thing is a hot fix only has build verification and unit testing where you have uh, full release testing on a point release. So uh, this is just unit and build testing. So you're not getting as good of a testing suite on hot fixes. Also, they're not guaranteed to be in the next point release. So if you have, say, in next point release. So say you are um, on 12.1.1.2 and you get a hot fix, and then 12.1.1.3 was released, that hotfix is not necessarily included in 12.1.1.3. And then finally, uh, only via support case. So you're not gonna be able to download a hotfix. Uh, they're only gonna be um, available via a support case uh, for all the, the versions, the recent versions following this, uh, this standard. Obviously, on, on earlier versions, we do have some hotfixes out there um, that have been out there for quite some time. And then, so, you know, the question is, why did we switch to a, a practice like this? And, uh, you know, the big thing is it significantly cuts down the number of builds that support has to, uh, to, to build and, and maintain. So it frees up more of their resources to assist you, the customer. Also, you know, I mentioned it, but uh, uh, far more exhaustive, exhaustive pre-release testing than the, the hotfix model was. Uh, also, it provides a, a release case, a cadence that's less confusing. So it's, you know, major, minor, and it's kind of that tick-tock, uh, which is the 15-month, the five-year kind of plan. And I won't draw the, the whole calendar, but whereas support might have had to f uh, support 10 to 15 in instances of, of builds before, now they're really in the four to six, depending on where you are in the calendar, uh, following, this, uh, following this, um, this process. So the final thing I want to mention before we get out of here is uh, for VE, if you buy a, a, a version uh, of a VE that, you know, you're one and done, you buy it, and then if there's an upgrade, you, you're going to have it. If you have a, a license that ends in, let me do another color. And uh, let's do... BE licensing. If you have a, a your your SKU for VE ends in VXX, where say V12 or V13, what this means is you get all versions from version 12 to the end of the point maintenance and point releases of V14. 
And likewise, if your uh, license on virtual edition ends in a V13, you get all the maintenance and point releases through the end of V15. So once it hits to V16, if you're on a V13 license, you, you would need to then uh, re, um, repurchase a license there. So in a nutshell, that is the uh, software lifecycle for Big IP TMOS. It's not for things like Big IQ and, and other uh, products. So, you know, check out Ask FI for those. Uh, I'll link the resources for this as well from Ask F5. And if you have any questions, uh, hit us up in the comments. Thank you for joining us. And if you like this video or other videos on our channel, uh, please click the subscribe button and we'll see you out there in the community.